Dear students, in our previous class, we have discussed about the classification of computers based on the principles of operation. Now, in our today's class, we are going to discuss about the classification of computers based on configuration. Configuration means the working capacity of the computer and the speed of a computer, the memory of a computer regarding these things we are going to discuss in our today's class. See, based on the classic, the classification of computers, based on performance, size, cost, based on performance, size, cost, okay, and capacity, the digital computers are classified into four types, okay, here, you need to understand about the configuration, configuration means, it is the performance of the computer, size of the computer, and cost of the computer, and also the capacity of the computers, all these things are collectively called as configuration. So based on this configuration, computers are classified into four categories. The first one is microcomputer, and the next one is mini computer, then mainframe computer, and the last one is super computer. Okay, hope you have understood the types of computers. Here you need to remember that configuration means the performance, capacity, cost. Okay, and the size. All these things are collectively called as the configuration. Hope you have understood this thing. Now we are going to discuss about the first type that is microcomputers. See, these are the things about microcomputer. Microcomputers are also called as personal computer. Personal computer means in your daily life which are the computers you are looking okay if you go to any cyber center or take your school or college computer lab okay the computers which you see they those computers are called as personal computers okay they are having monitor keyboard mouse and then cpu all these things are separate but they are interconnected so this type of computers are called personal computers so microcomputers are also called as personal computers then it was introduced in 1970 personal computer was introduced in 1970 and then the number of processors processors means i had shown you in my previous classes that is in the fourth generation of computer i have shown you the microprocessor and that microprocessor itself is called as processor okay and one more thing for this that is cpu processor itself is a microprocessor and microprocessor itself is a cpu and in microcomputer there are one or two microprocessors or one or two processors are there in microcomputers and then the next point is it includes input devices input devices means keyboard and mouse are there okay then output devices output devices means monitor speaker printer these things are called as output devices and then storage devices storage devices means ram and hard disk drive memory okay memory devices are called as storage devices then memory okay here comes ram okay storage device means this is only the hard disk drive okay memory means this is ram and then processor processor means the same micro processor and then it is used by one person at a time only one person is enough to operate a computer at one time okay after the first person leaves that place, then the second person can use the same computer. And then examples of microcomputers are PC and Apple Macintosh. They are the companies of the microcomputer. Okay, PC means personal computer. 
एप्पल मैसेज मीन द एप्पल ब्रांडेड कंप्यूटर्स आर द एग्जाम्पल फॉर माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स द मेजर माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स आर डेस्कटॉप कंप्यूटर्स डेस्कटॉप कंप्यूटर्स मीन्स द पर्सनल कंप्यूटर इट सेल्फ इज कॉल्ड एज डेस्कटॉप वन इज लैपटॉप अनदर वन इज डेस्कटॉप desktop means the computer which you keep on the table and which you cannot able to carry any weight that type of computer that is personal computer it's a monitor keyboard mouse and cpu this is desktop computer and then portable computer portable computer means laptop portable means it can be ported to one place to another place if you travel somewhere then at the time you can carry your laptop with you that is portable so laptop is called as the portable computer so these are the points regarding the micro computer now i am going to show you the figure of micro computer how it looks like see this is the micro computer okay and this may be desktop computer and this can be kept on a table and all these things so look this is actually the micro computer and now we are going to discuss about the next type that is desktop computers look under micro computer we have three types of computers okay under micro computer three types are there the first one is desktop computer desktop computer and the next one is Which one? Portable computer. Portable computer. And the last one is hand hold computer. And the last one is hand hold computer. Hand hold. Under micro computer, these are three types. In points, I have shown you. Okay, here I have written desktop computer, and here I have written portable computers. These are the two types of micro computers. Along with these two types, one more type that is the hand hold computer. So we shall see about the desktop computer. See, this is about the desktop computer. Okay, the desktop computers can easily fix on the table. Okay, they can easily fix on the table. You can keep these computers on the table easily. Desktop computers or desktop. What is meant by desktop? Desktop means if you have a small desk. Okay, on the top of that desk you can place the computer. So this is what here desktop. so for that thing it is called as the desktop computer for these features it means it can be easily kept on the top of table or on the top of the desk so for that it has the name desktop is g1 and these computers desktop computers comes under two models or cases okay they comes under two models or cases we shall see which are these two models okay the first model that is the desktop model first model is the desktop model in this model unit is placed on the desktop unit means the cpu box okay this unit can be called as cpu box okay the big one or this can also be called as cabinet this can also be called as cabinet and this this unit is placed on the desktop okay and on that system unit on that cpu box on that cabinet monitor is placed see monitor is placed on the system unit it means on this cpu box or cabinet okay monitor is placed and the last point here is in tower model one is the desktop model another one is tower model in tower model both monitor and system unit are placed on the table okay 
both monitor and system unit are placed on the table see this is the first time where see system unit okay on the system unit the monitor is placed okay this is desktop model one more is this is the tower model okay tower model here see both monitor and cpu that is system unit can be placed on the table itself so this is regarding the desktop computer come now we shall see the next thing that is about the portable computer come now we are discussing about the portable computer okay portable computer is a personal computer it is also a personal computer okay but that computer can be carried from one place to other okay it can be easily carried from one place to other okay carried easily from one place to other and notebook computer and handheld computers are the examples of portable computers okay one type is notebook computer the another one is handheld computer this handheld computer is the smartphone which you are using okay that is the handheld computer okay notebook computer and and handheld computer smartphone these are the examples for portable computers okay handheld computer means it is smartphone come now we shall see which is the notebook computer okay of these two points come here notebook computer is also called as laptop computer okay laptop you have seen many laptops okay today is very easy that you can find laptops anywhere and everywhere okay laptop is called as the notebook computer and laptop computer can be easily placed on lap lap means your thigh your lap okay on your lap you can place that computer very easily so for this reason this computer that is portable computer can be called as laptop okay i will give you one more example why the desktop computer is called as desktop because it is placed on the top of a desk or on the top of a table so it is called as desktop computer and portable computer can be placed on lap on your lap on your legs easily okay on your thighs easily so for that reason this portable computer can be called as laptop look here this is the laptop and you have seen many laptops no need to show you you can easily understand the laptop see it looks like this and this can be placed very easily on your lap the next one the last one, we are going to discuss about the hand sorry hand hand computer now we are going to discuss about the third thing that is the hand held computer see the last type that is hand held computer okay i have already shown you that it is like a smartphone you can call smartphone as the hand held computer and they are also portable portable means they can be carried from one place to another very easily so this is it means the hand held computer is like a smartphone and it can be carried from one place to another hand held computer is also known as palm top computer we have discussed one thing that is desktop computer the next one was sorry portable computer means laptop desktop laptop and hand held is palm top what is meant by this palm top what is meant by palm okay your hand this is called as palm and the hand held computer you can easily place on your palm so this hand held computer is called as the palm top computer because it easily fits on the hand of a user okay on the hand of a user 
we are the users okay and this form term that is handheld computer can be easily placed on our hand okay so by all these things and we can call handheld computer as the palm top computer look here this is the handheld computer just a example is given here but you are well known about the smartphones okay smartphone itself can be called as the handheld computer now we are going to discuss about the uses of micro computers okay we have discussed about the micro computer and types of micro computers now we are going to discuss about the uses of micro here pc personal computer itself is the micro computer okay it is most common type of computer commonly you will see every day this type of computer okay which i have shown you that is one monitor cpu keyboard and mouse is there everywhere wherever you go you can see this computer that is pc pc means personal computer itself is a micro computer it is a common type of computer used in the offices okay many offices if you go to any business field or if you go in any hospitals or in medical stores or even in departmental stores everywhere in every office you can see this computer and now it is widely used in many homes okay in homes also for their personal work and for many things for educating their children okay parents are using in homes and many students are using to play games okay so this one and the next thing is they are used for business and engineering applications they are used in widely used in many homes and they are used in business and engineering applications in business fields also they are used and in engineering applications if you see the civil work the civil engineer just like building sorry to create the sketch of a building or to construct a building okay in that field computers are used a software by name cad or solid edge cad or solid edge is used cad is used for preparing designs of buildings roads and the foundations and all and solid edge is used for creating designs of vehicles okay just like the design of a car or the design of a scooter or the design of a bus for the design vehicle giving the design of vehicles solid edge is used in the design of civil things just like design of a building or the design of a road okay about all these things cad will be used that is called as engineering applications they are called as the engineering applications in engineering applications also micro computers are used so this is regarding the types of computers based on configuration that is the first type micro computer we have left with three more types that is mini computer mainframe computer and super computer in our next class we are we will be going to discuss all these things if you have any doubts regarding today's class you can ask me personally thank you